as we navigate the catastrophic change and crisis that continues all around us, we must remind ourselves who we are in God. I know there's so much more to you than meets the eye. I know there's so much more to you that's locked inside We are in this world and what we are going through is real but we are not of this world We are still in the middle of things and we may still be on the roller coaster ride of emotions and feel drained as a result but in the midst of all that is happening remember who we are in God 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. There is freedom in receiving forgiveness If you trust in the Lord He declares you be going through hard times and feel that we are not coping and not even responding the way that we think we should. But we must remember the foundational truth that God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that we might be the righteousness of God. It doesn't matter whether you think you are a failure. I think in crisis we can sometimes feel our human failure but the fact is that we are right in Him because of what God has done for us. 2 Peter 1 says, You are a partaker of His divine nature. When we quote this, we are taking hold of what He has done. We take hold of Him over the crisis. Taking hold of what He has got for our future over the moment of our personal shaking. We need to be anchored in the foundational truth that the Holy Spirit dwells within us and He is leading us. The Holy Spirit is guiding us. He dwells within. No longer will you be trapped in your guilt. No longer behind the walls that you've built Freedom No need to hide Freedom On the inside The Spirit of God is one with our spirit if God is for us, who can be against us? Not even the virus can be against us. Just remember, when you feel that everything is coming against you and you feel emotionally worn out, God is for you. He is with you. And when He is for you, who can be against you? You are the righteousness of God and He is for you. Ephesians 3.16 says he may strengthen you with power through the Spirit in your inner being. The Spirit of God is in your inner being. He is inside. He is strengthening you with his power. He is in you. We need to activate what is within us. We need to submit our minds to the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to overflow into our emotions, to fill our mind and to fill our thoughts. We need to practice the presence of God. The Holy Spirit dwells within us. We need to live every day with that awareness. In all the turmoil around us, remember that the Spirit of God lives within. You are okay with God. He wants to use you 
to reach out to others at this time, others who are crying out for answers. He needs you to bring transformation to the world around you. <laughs>